in rural Tuscany, you feel an enthusiasm for tradition. Gazing at these content sheep, you can almost taste the Pecorino cheese, which seems to be a part of every meal. At this farm, walls are stacked with rounds of Pecorino, made from the unpasteurized, and therefore tastier, milk of the farm's sheep. Making cheese this way is labor-intensive and takes lots of patience. But for these folks, it's well worth the trouble. To be sure we get the most out of our visit, we're joined by my friend and fellow tour guide, Roberto Becchi. We're visiting the noble farm of the Zanda family, where Nicola raises a couple hundred pigs. These pigs are a rare breed brought back from the edge of extinction by people who care about traditional agriculture, people who really love their ham. So it's Italian justice. We feed them, they feed us. Yeah. yeah. Now, like the pigs all eventually do, we move on to the prosciutto part of the farm. Nicola artfully cures every part of the pig. The hind legs are destined to become fine prosciutto. He brushes on a coat of garlic and vinegar with a sprig of rosemary, sprinkles it with pepper, and finally cakes it in salt. Top grade prosciutto is cured by hanging in a cool room for about a year. During the slow curing process, Nicola checks the progress, employing a wooden needle and an expert nose. And like any proud farmer, he invites us into his home. Not your everyday farmhouse, for a memorable taste. From the farm to the table, with only a little bit of travel. 200 meters. 200 meters, <laughs> but uh, a lot of work. A lot of work. How many months? Uh, about uh, 15 months. And then the ham is waiting? The ham is waiting about uh, 12 months. Oh, so more than two years. Yeah. Nicola, three different meats. Can you give me a little tour? This is ham, prosciutto. We have soppressata. It's done with the heads of the pigs. Mm -hmm. And we have the salami here. You like this? Oh, I love it. This is uh, from the head it, of the beautiful pigs I was just right, feeding. Is it good? Do you eat it, it's Nicola? fantastic. Yeah? Try it. It's Try the best it. Part. Hmm. Yeah, it. yes. it's like prosciutto for beginners, and this is for the expert. For the expert. The connoisseur. Perfect. With some good wine. Always with good wine. Nearby is the Vecchio Molino, or Old Mill. While this swan thinks this pool's made for him, it's actually a reservoir used to power the mill. This mill, with its ancient grindstones, has been producing flour for generations. Until the 1960s, neighboring farmers brought their grain here. While locals know stone ground corn makes the tastiest polenta, corn mill. polenta. mills like these are a tough fit in our fast-paced world. 